Good morning, guys. Welcome to Friday. Why would you lock it? Sometimes I lock the door and it's out of habit. See, just you just did. All right, good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today it's the crack of dawn. It is 10 to 9 a.m. and we're already heading out. We're going someplace so fun. We're going someplace that is my dream place. Like the really tall grass, and, and you got I a grass cut to grab it. Where were you? In the yard, riding Finn. Oh, oh and you kept trying to grab the grass. Yeah. From being terrified to ride Finn anywhere but in a ring, to trying to grab this tall show, grass while you're riding. A lot of confidence. Yeah. Well, we're going back to another show. Really? Yeah. Come on, so Gabby. Every time I sound excited, Tuppy's like, "You're bucks. getting me a puppy, aren't you?" I got seven bucks. Good. And we're waiting for Gabby. We're excited to go someplace, super fun, and we're waiting for Gabby, like usual. It's just the normal way of things. So last night I posted on Instagram saying how much I love you guys and how much you mean to me. And I know every YouTuber says that, but literally how you guys are concerned for Sam and love him and like support him when he got hurt. How you guys love and support Sophia like so much. like. How I post a video of her going around a course cantering and I feel all these emotions because I, I know my girl is like giving it all her because I know my girl's giving it her all and then I post it and then so many of you guys feel the same emotion as me like that's love you guys and then how you guys all acknowledge and accept the fact that Gabby is a moody teenager like and then you laugh about her and you joke about her and you make fun of her with me <laughs> in a kind way. No, I'm not gonna cry, but it's overwhelming. The chances of meeting five people in your life that make you feel this amazing is rare. The fact that we have so many of you guys that make me feel amazing, like there would be no us without you guys, but I would never want to live a life without you guys. That's how good you guys make our lives. Welcome to the world, Gabby. Macy wouldn't come in. Macy wouldn't come in. Okay, so where the heck are we going? So my dream would be to go someplace where I could buy like a bunch of horse stuff or a horse. So my dream would be, okay, so basically yesterday Sam sent me an ad online that said locally to us, five families, five horse families are having a horse yard sale. They're having a yard sale with all their tack, leftover stuff that they don't want. If there's gonna be bits, you better be buying them. Oh, I, guys, I hope they have so much stuff. I can, there was a half pad that I really want. So we're gonna go, we're gonna see what's gonna happen at this shirt sale. Okay, so we have to stop for a second so Sam can go and get his coffee at the store. And um, one thing I like to do, one thing I like to do before we go to a yard sale, because you guys know, I'm like a big yard sale person, or I was before we got a house that was so small you can't put anything in it. Okay. So, Sophie, where are you, Sophie? Sophie, what are you hoping to find at the yard sale? Um, a puppy. Gabby, what are you hoping to find at the yard sale? I don't know. Anything you see? Yeah. Is there anything that we need for our horses? A puppy. Is there anything? No. no, I don't think. We need a half pad. There's a bunch of stuff, actually. We need a half pad. Bits. We don't need bits. Yes. We need a half pad. We're done. If we found like more studs for Chino's studs, I'd get those, even though we can't ride Chino because he's lame. He'll be phoning the vet this week. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna go and we're gonna show you guys what we find. Oh my gosh. There's so much clothes. Wait, where's all the rest of the stuff? Okay, we're here. Get Sophie some breeches we found saddles, we found breeches, we found the half pad we want. I think we're the Show first pads. people here. Show pads. Try, try this one. Looking for stuff for Gracie. We're looking for stuff for Willow. We're looking for like, okay, so Gabby, you know everything we need. We need a new 
girth for Willow saddle. Gracie. We need one for Gracie saddle? Stella's old one fits her. So we just need what? The girth. Okay, we'll pick it up. Oh, is that what I think it is? It's a what? Those are the kinds we need almost. Stud kit. So guys, we're okay? Right. We've got all the tools and this is a cool toolbox. All right. So. How much is it? Let's get it. Yeah, we need another one of those. We always need more of these. But this doesn't actually have the tool in it, so we have all this. The only thing we don't have is the pulling the pulling thing. This. Need more pulling so Carrie, do, are we going to get that kit? Or she said I don't no. Know. I don't know. Or do you want the kit? God, how do you guys not be decisive? So it's, I mean, it's Extra got, tools. let's find out how much it is. Because these are similar to what Gabby uses. We need them all. <laughs> no, those are not our kind of bits. Me all bits. Do you need a, a measuring tape for that? She knows what she's looking for. Are you picking at the girth that we need? All right, you do that. Look at these winter boots. These are super cute. Sophie, these might fit you. Sophie wants bits. Sophie, did you see a bit that you wanted? What is this? Is this a hoof pick? That's a weird one. This is a weird hoof pick. That's a hoof pick? Yeah. Do you think it would work or no? I think so. I'm a connoisseur of different kinds of hoof picks, but I don't know. It doesn't seem sharp enough. Gabby, what do you think of this hoof pick? It's interesting. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. What about these half pad or these show pads? Do you see any that would work? I like that one back there, but it's ripped. It's a 16, so that's probably. Do you have any pony you, ones? That's 16, and this is 17. It could be 17 and a half. It says 17 and a half, but it's the type of saddle, right? Yeah. This is oh yeah. So and that's cool. wool so, padded, right? That would be wool padded, not foam. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Yeah. I don't know if it would fit. What, what kind of pony? We have a 12.2 hand high pony. That's the one. How much well, is it? Um, Chris, well, how much did you want for this saddle? 300. Asking 300. But maybe make a deal? Nah. It's super cute. Gabby's like, I want this one. Yeah, now that's too big for our pony. Here's well, it, it depends. It depends if the pony is short in the back. Twelve two though. That yeah. is little. She's little. That's little. It. You see, if you get too long, then it starts to interfere with the yeah, the hips yeah, yeah, and yeah. Everything. Gabby found herself a bridle. Yep. Yep. There's actually. There's, all of these. Now this one's another, this is really small, like this is, would fit the, the 12, uh, two. That's a pony bridle. Okay, that, that one. Okay. okay. <laughs> Gabby's like, how much is this? Gabby's like, hook me up with that one. Ten dollars. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. Do um, Do they have a bit? Right, find us a pony bit. Oh, we have a bit? Oh, okay. Do you need a nose band or anything with that, or is it? Oh, yeah, there's one. Okay. There's and you got a girth. Over there too. Okay. If this Do you need reins? Fit, we have girth extenders. Do you know where the girth extenders are? Because I've never found them. No. Bridle. That's thing. a hackamore. Yeah. You attach your bridle, like this part of the bridle there, on um, the reins here. Is it for a pony? I'm not in love with hackamores. Yeah, that's for ponies. Your horse at the pass if you know. Like, Wears them, I know. I like a bitless bridle. I like like a side pull better. Fiona won't let us use any. But do you want that? I don't know, it might be good for it, later. Sophie's dream dog showed up. <laughs> a Dalmatian puppy. Oh, it's so cute. Sophie's always thinking that we're out to buy her a Dalmatian dog and then a Dalmatian dog showed up. I haven't seen a Dalmatian in years. No, we always shock our kids and be like, we're gonna go do this, and then we buy, end up getting a puppy. So she thinks she's getting a Dalmatian puppy. But you're not, I promise. It's a fluke. <laughs> What's that? I think, I think this is for Gabby's still looking through the reins. Okay, so who's the girth for? 
Gracie. Gracie? Mm -hmm. Fine. You found it? It's not perfectly, but it's rubber. It's rubber. I like rubber. Rubber like this is better for rain, too, so it's not as slippery. Is okay. there still inside? No, I don't think so. I think it's all out here. I'm going to look at the pants one more time. Now, that, my friends, was the yard sale of my dreams. I got myself a little tawny aloe vera plant. You guys know what it is? Saddle. Yeah, Gabby wanted that saddle. I feel uncomfortable buying saddles. How much was it? Mm -hmm. 300 or 400? It was a Steuben and it was beautiful. Should we go back and get it? Yes, yes. because it might fit. Um, oh my gosh, look at the jumps they have. I love the lady. It's cramped in there. So we're gonna show you guys everything that we bought including my aloe vera plant when we get home the aloe vera plant you break so if you have a cut or you're if you have a cut you can break off a piece and the gel that's in here you rub it on your cut or your sunburn or whatever you have and it heals you up yeah it's an amazing plant hey, well, we're all right we are home from yard sale oh my mom my saddle is bigger than that shall we try with this we are home from the yard sale and when we went up to the yard sale, the lady's like, oh, this horse, this yard sale is just for horse stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's why we're here. Like, come on. Never find yard sales like that. So we're going to show you guys what we got. Okay, so first thing is this half pad. I think it'll fit. I think it's going to be too small. I don't think I'm going to try it right now. I think it'll be fine. Just for comfort for Finney. Um... We got this um, whip. Whips, it's a black bat, that's what they're called here. So it's just like a small crop. And I might paint this black, you can't, this is purple. You can't find these here at our tax store and we need them for shows. So we got this one. And this little We got this one for Brooklyn and Jacob. I just thought it's so This one does not hurt that much. Good, I like a crop that doesn't hurt. Like None sense. of them really hurt. Depends on where you're smacking. Woo. That one hurts more. Let's than see. Let's see. All right. So, anyways, we Wait, got these. Let me. Yeah. That... Ow! <laughs> All right. So we got crops and a half pad. Is that all you got? No. I bought Sophie these breeches. She says she's not going to wear them. Watch in her next lesson. Oh, she'll wow. be wearing them. They're the right size for her. And she needs like more breeches to wear. She's so picky. And so yeah, I bought those. Um, the last thing we actually got was this jolly ball. Got a jolly ball for who? The boys. The boys. It's going to go in there. And then when we Most go back, Chino. when we move for the, for the fall, I was thinking we could take that and put it in Chino's stall so he's not chewing everything. Right? All right, what'd you get? When the horses are eating. Well, the bridle doesn't fit. She said it would fit a 12.2. She did say, how does it not fit? This is too long. You know, it's on the tennis setting. Well, we have a hole puncher. Let's go see, put it we on her. We punch holes. Cause this piece. But we could cut that again, cut that. No, this needs to be there. All right. So we bought a pony bridle that she said would fit a 12.2 hand high pony, and we know she's that tall. Ruby. Yeah, we've come to bring you lunch, ponies. See how fast they run away when Ruby. Gabby's here? Gracie doesn't. Gracie doesn't. I mean, opposed to like standing there and waiting for me to bring food. Yeah. Oh, it's huge. That's like, uh, that's not even a pony bridle. Look at that's a bit in your mouth, Gracie girl. Yeah, like there's not even a chance that that could fit. So Are you sad? Lied. Let's go start a riot. <laughs> let's go start a riot. All right, let's do it. I'll go start a riot. I'll drive you there. What? And we'll buy the saddle. Uh, I don't have any faith about the saddle now. Well, I don't have faith about this. This looks small. <laughs> oh, we got ripped off at the yard sale. Our saddles have wide panels. All right, well, let's try that. Let's try it. All right, so we did get this adorable it's bridle adorable for ponies. Bridle for ponies, yeah. Try it on Finn, it might fit Finn. And we yeah, got reins. But will the reins fit? Like, are they bigger reins? The reins are the same size that you normally get. Yeah, so we could, I mean, we got extra rubber reins. We can take our horses swimming with those. Darn it! It's a 
cob size probably. It'll fit Finny. But Finn doesn't really need it anymore. Yet. All right, let's go see what else did we get that might not fit us. So we did end up buying this cork kit, which I am excited about. It comes with this thing. They cost $39.50. I don't even know what it's for. Obviously, it screws into something. Oh, we got more plugs. Cork plugs. Gabby needs those. It comes with more cork plugs. And it comes with maybe more cork plugs. It comes with this tool. It's like a... Yeah, I don't even know what any of these are. But anyway, there's another tool that Gabby uses. A little wrench. And, and we bought all these corks. I should bring them up to the house and clean them. So this is, yes, yeah, studs, sorry. Well, some people call them corks. So there are different sizes in here. This is the size that Chino wears. And there's a lot of them. So I think that'll be good, at least. The other thing that she gave us for free were these clippers. These are heavy-duty Oster Golden A5 clippers. Uh, I need to get a new blade, which it, clippers don't, the blade doesn't last forever anyway, so I just have to find out where I can get a blade, and then this will be good, hopefully. Let's plug it in and see. Oh, it's good! Look at Gabby's. Her half bag comes up to like, comes up here. Oh, I think it's still a lot too bad. We'll see. It's not meant to be huge. And I this looks like tight on the withers. I think it'll be fine. We'll try it anyways. I like it. It looks tight on the withers here. Oh my goodness. Stop complaining. Okay. Get ready. Where's the turn on button? Right here. Oh, it works. So I'm going to order a blade. I'm going to look into it today. Order us a blade. And I like that it's not super loud. Listen. Oh yeah. I have an ear infection. I can't hear anything. So that's probably why. Um, I order us a blade and some cooling spray. And then it's we'll be in business. Loud. Oh, good. Okay, so Sophie does not love the idea of wearing a half pad. I hate half pads. Yeah, she hates half pads. We get a lot of pressure from some people that are saying like, wear a half pad. It'll help your horses back. Our horses, because we got custom saddles, our horses are really good. Their backly are in good shape. It's the beat that we have problems with. And right beside Chino, and he grabs the strap off of Chino's fly mask and opens them. Mm -hmm. Or they rub their heads together off. and it rips off. His fly mask is off. Whose is off? No, no, no. He just threw it off. Stop oh, it. Well, Finn must have did it again. Finn did it again? Or they rub their heads together and then the Velcro did attaches. It up Sam did it up and then Finn took it off him again. There, it's a conspiracy between them. It's nice out. He's like, I'll take yours off and you take mine off. Yeah, he's like, I'll take mine. He takes Chino's off and then Chino takes his off. And then Chino takes uh, fins off, but Chino didn't take fins off. All right, so I'm gonna shut that dog up. <laughs> I'm gonna take that toy away from that puppy. Molly, drop it. Not even her toy. I know. It's it's actually Chino's toy. Molly's inherited it though. Okay, so if anybody is wondering about the update on my new horse, so the horse I'm looking at right now, currently that I'm focusing all my love and attention and desire on is named Jack and he's a gypsy banner. He's 15.1 hands high, same height as Stella, which would be great for me. Um, ah, no. So I messaged the lady and she did message me back and I asked for videos because they're six hours away and I don't want to go driving six hours away to see a horse if he's like lame or if he doesn't move very well. Yeah, I just want to see him moving. So she sent me a video of... She sent me a video of her little niece riding, um, or her cousin or somebody, riding him on a lunge, like just on like a lunge rope, but all it was like two seconds of him just walking on a lead line. But he did look really quiet. I just still need to see him moving before I pack up my trailer and go get him. Sam, are you buying me a gypsy banner? I'm gonna put this on camera. <laughs> wait, no, wait, 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 don't no answer before you think about the repercussions of the all the little kids no out there. Banners. No more horses. The answer but is no I got no horse to ride. Banners. You got a storm to ride. I can't ride the storm. The answer is no gypsy banners. We don't like them. Yeah, yeah, Gabby doesn't like gypsy banners. Like a lot of people don't like them. They're gross. Gabby does not like how they look Ooh. or move. Hi, Willa. I don't fit that mold. I fit the mold where I make decisions only for myself. Like, if even if everybody in my family hated the Gypsy Banners, which they pretty much do, I'm going to get the horse I that I love. You like them? I'm going to get the horse that I love for me.
<laughs> I am going to do that. I'm going to get the right horse for me no matter what other people think. And just remember, you guys, if I can stand up to all the people saying, don't get that horse, it's ugly. Well, uh, if I can do it and love it and door. open the door, then you can do it too. Oh, so Lexi ate a cricket. Yeah, the kittens are eating crickets. Only Lexi ate it twice. Mm -hmm. Because first, so Molly eats them alive. Lexi. Molly eats, eats them, crickets alive. Lexi eats them dead. Uh, Lexi eats them dead. So Molly. Lexi literally jumps on them and plays with them till they're dead, then she eats it. <laughs> I'm actually excited to sleep in the trailer. All right, so now that it is almost the weekend, I think we should, as a family, sleep in this gorgeous beast. We can hook it up to electricity and we can have fans on us. I asked Kaylee and Gabby if they wanted to sleep in it the other day and Kaylee said she doesn't do camping. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful? 